off uh, 13. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And tomorrow, folks, okay, our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing these workshops for us. Uh, the first one is going to be on the S&P. This is going to start at 4 in the afternoon, go to 6. It's going to be two hours, uh, the first hour and a half. He's going to be go teaching uh, all his different indicators. And the next half hour is going to be uh, questions and answers. So come on over to our website. You can sign up right now. The uh, archive, the live workshop is $295. It will be on your uh, page for as long as you want to go over it. And this is something that you will want to go over, folks, because the bottom line uh, is that these are very unique uh, what would uh, <laughs> I'm losing it, man. I love it. They're very, very unique um, indicators that he uses. And yes, they're in the marketplace, but the bottom line, they're not used as our man, Mr. Tim Ord, uses them. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, yeah, thanks for having me on again. Absolutely. Um, actually, just to let you know, we're up over so far, we're not even quite halfway through the year yet. Uh, but uh, uh, we're up over. Uh, well, as of yesterday's close, I was up uh, 10 point, uh, two seven percent, 10 point, so low over 10 percent so far this year. So, if that tracker continues, you know, I'd like to hit 20. We'll see. But anyhow, chart and that's one, pretty. That's pretty. That, that's literally, you know, climbing the wall of worry, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, a lot of people, you know, kind of been, you know, fighting this rally. And yes. uh, there's really no need to. And actually, there's a good indicator to kind of figure out if the uh, market's kind of climbing that wall of worry, I guess. When the market doesn't have a wall of worry uh, and there's no fear in the market, that's usually when things can turn ugly in a hurry. Uh, okay. But the VIX kind of kind of keeps you uh, in the trend of the market. Usually when VIX is above 17, you can have a – uh, kind of a wishy-washy market, a trading market like we had over the last, uh, since last May, the market went up, went down, went up, went down. Okay. Filling a trading range. And finally, now, we're below 17 on, on the VIX. Yes, I have your chart up, Tim. It, uh, uh, pardon? I also have your chart up. Okay, chart. Sure. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, chart number one, if you look at the bottom of the page there, the reason I put the monthlies up is... It, you can go back further in time. This chart goes back to 2016 or end of 15, anyhow. I tried to point out when the trend is below 17, you get a trending market. If you notice in 2016 and 2017, in general, that trend on the monthly time frame stayed below 17. And the market virtually went straight up for two yes. years. I mean, yes. very little correction going on and I identify that uh, in a kind of pink area at the bottom there. I see right it. Now, yep. the, yeah, the, the, the VIX right now, well, this is a couple hours ago, but it's 14. It's around 14 right now. And we're starting to get into that minus or a 17 and below area. And if we stay in there, there's a good chance we can probably trend again because uh, the market goes through stages. It goes through a trading range builds a cause for the next move. The next cause for the next move is a trending market. And we had a trading range, you know, over a year, you know, basically from last May to this May. The market really didn't do anything, but it goes sideways. And now we should enter into a trending mode and identify that trending mode is a, uh, a consistent reading below 17 on the VIX. So long as below 17, chances are, the market's going to just head higher. Not every day is going to be an up day, but in general, the market's going to work higher. And the VIX will start going up before the top actually happens. And um, um, we can discuss that on the next chart if you want. Okay. And you know what, what I just did, Tim, too? I put the VIX chart up, and you can see the dramatic break. I mean, the last three yeah. weeks, we just went from 2081 to 1389. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's so, still trending down. So long as that VIX is, is below 17 or even trending down. Now, I think today we hit a two and a half year low in the VIX. Okay. Uh, so this, mar this market is probably just going to keep marching higher back up to the old highs at a minimum. 
but you know, flip flip to the next chart. I have it. And and the bottom window is the uh, SPX VIX ratio. Uh, the only reason I do that ratio is to put the VIX in the uh, anyhow. If you just put the VIX, it'll be just inverse of this chart you see below. But if you put the SPX VIX ratio with it, then it inverts it up. So it makes it easier to read. You can see where the divergence happens. Yes. And if you look at uh, 2018, you know, the VIX went right down really hard right before the top, if you can kind of see it there. And yep. if you look in the in the, uh, 2020, that's kind of a pink area I pointed out there. I see those two pink areas, yes. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, if you notice, that the S&Ps are making higher highs, and the VIX ratio made lower highs. Uh, same thing happened in the uh, of 2021 going into uh, January 2022. The market made higher highs, and that VIX ratio made lower highs. So the VIX goes up before the market tops out. And right now, we've got the VIX going straight up along with the market. So that's a bullish divergence. That's kind of the, the VIX leads the S&Ps. So as long as the, the VIX is going down and the S&Ps are going up, Everything's fine. If the VIX is going up and the S and P is going up, then that's when trouble can happen. It can happen like a day or two, but if it starts showing a divergence over like a week uh, time frame, okay, then the market's heading for trouble. So this should identify wherever this next top comes in, which, in my opinion, could be substantially higher, is when both the VIX and the SPX is going up. And the most likely place that could happen is probably back at the uh, January 2022 highs up around that 470 area. I don't know if that could be a double top or not. I don't know. We may pass right through it. It's too soon to say what's going to happen there, but that'd be the minimum upside target. So, but but again, uh, the SPs go up and the VIX goes up. If that happens on a weekly time frame, then you're probably looking at an eight-minute term top, at least a top that you want to think about shorting. And Similar folks, if you top, want to understand had... you know, these great ratios, the different tools that Tim uses after you know, all these years, because I'm sure you know, one of these days, Tim, we're gonna, I want to talk to you on the air for about a half hour, because I know how long and how many charts you have to look at in order to ca get to this conclusion, which is really cool, man. Um, yeah. And folks, the, the bottom line is that you're going to get Tim's experience of the last 40 to 50 years and he's only 25. <laughs> we wish, he's right? Only 25. Yeah. I know, man. Yeah. Come there on over to our website, folks. Go. It's tomorrow afternoon, 4 to 6. If you can't make it live, folks, it's going to be archived so you can check it out. Tim, have a great one, safe one. I look forward to the workshop tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The Gold Report.